With this video, we will be doing NBA Youngboy interviews with Bootleg Kev on Grave Digger Mountain. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we make, making, please help us put our merchandise. The link is in the description. And if you didn't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. Try and get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. All right, boys, at LAX right now, about to fly LAX. to Gravedigger Mountain. Eight hour notice, and now we're here. So we're gonna go hang out with uh, one of the most prolific rappers of our lifetime in Utah. Who played Kev? LAX, by the way. LAX. All right, we made it. Gravedigger Mountain. We're in Utah. Yes. Shout out to a uh, young boy who's uh, currently on a horse. <laughs> he currently on a horse. You already know. Dang, you got the horse, uh, Josh. Yeah, I got the ranch. That's the studio. What's good, brother? Pull up on a horse. Can I say hi to you? That's dope, because you remember um, we watched the NBA young boy made out with the game. He pulled up in a Lambo for bootleg cab. He pulled up on a horse. like On a horse trotting. That's crazy. Oh, you're on the horse? I just don't want to get kicked. May I pet the horse? She cool. I don't want to get kicked, man. Sure. You know I'm an animal lover, man, so. Hey, man, it's good to finally meet you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, having me out here, bro. For real. It means a lot to me, man. Oh, so, yo, you got another horse? Let me, let me sure. get one of these. <laughs> Welcome you got to me out here now. Mountain. Might as well look. You know, I tried Live to find a Grave Digger monster truck toy for you as a gift. My Matter son has a bunch and they're all in storage. I was going to try to. I was going to try to. I'm going to send you one, man. What's the name of your horse? Tessa. Tessa? Yeah. Tessa. How long did it take you to get good at riding a horse? My grandfather used to take me riding and eating. Okay. Kind of back that way behind yeah. the mountains. Yeah, I remember driving through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's dope. Was it like a, a while to get the, the hang of it? Because it's a wild animal. When I got her, she was pretty well trained. Right. right. That's dope, man. It's a beautiful animal. I ain't getting no wild Beautiful horse. animal. I wish I could have had um, <laughs> I dressed up for you. Nah, I ain't breaking my nails. I painted red. I had that red. And I tell her it. She looks great, bro. Yeah, yeah. we kind of just got in regular, whatever. So you have different clothes for the horse? Yeah. I just was crazy. I just talked to Shine. I'm trying to and get the a horse match me. diamond everything, <laughs> man. Oh, that's that's gay stuff. They got red and black on them. Yeah, because you know, like, uh, most of the time, people that got the bag like him, they'll make their outfit and they'll go get in a car that matched the outfit that mm -hmm. they got on because they got different uh, cars. But I like the fact that, yo, my horse is going to match me, too. Yeah. That's motivation. That's motivation. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Bling out the horse. It's show. One of one it's in Utah. It's one of one in Utah. I love it, man. It's my second child that I'm only on child support for. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's what's up, man. So how often do you ride? Uh, like, do you, how often do you take her out and ride her? I actually been up there going crazy behind it, man. I've been <laughs> focused on music so much. I ain't been getting to spend much, as much time with her. Right. I know that feeling. And when I brought it to uh. My bro attention, he mm -hmm. was like, yeah, I've been saying the same thing. That's dope. So, yeah, you've been busy, man. Cool. I know Run just dropped. You got the album that just dropped. That was crazy. Check this out. He say she been sticking her head through the gate, scratching. Oh, shit. Yeah, she been tripping, bro. Oh, she trying to get out. She trying to get out. Have yeah, you ever watched the, uh, the TV show Yellowstone? Cool oh, okay, it's about, it's about cowboys in uh, Montana. Yeah. And it got me interested in like horses. I play Red Dead Redemption of that. Part two, man, one of the greatest games ever. Yeah, it's you know, long as hell. So long. Red Dead Redemption. Did you play the first one though, the OG no. one? Oh. The new one is great. The last one was great, but the OG one is the one. Uh, around that time, I didn't even have a game. Yeah, that was when I was a kid, so I'm 36. So you're, what, you're 24 now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a beautiful animal. You have any dogs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got all kinds of dogs, man. One day I'll have a horse. One day. I was gonna buy another. Yeah, I just wanted to make now. sure I spent like over two years with her first. That's smart, yeah. And also like, you know, not for nothing, a lot of people, this is like, a, you know, they invest in horses, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I was just watching TV and I seen one horse bid it at 1.7 million. Yeah. And the man bought it. They invest. <laughs> that you could, you could invest in race horses. Um, and then like these show horses, man. That's the thing is like, 
you could take your horse to those those shows like the road they're road rodeos you know you're kind of like a cowboy this is cowboy and low key yeah i'm puerto rock will nah this, this it, it's beautiful up here i see why you're up here man yeah i love it i gotta get out of la man view in nature how does he know if i've been naughty or nice he sees everything everything let me guess he's got lots of um you know how to ride that thing yeah sure we can figure it out Turn it around, let's, go. All right. let's do this uh i need to figure out how to start it it's kind of like under your leg okay. at the bottom yeah it's a key at the bottom That's i think it's on try to um try to just hit uh <laughs> is it on high or low it's on medium it's on high now oh oh uh, yeah okay yeah you got it in reverse let's go Keep up, boys. Oh, uh, oh my goodness. His cameraman walking. Cameraman, so I can't keep up with this shit. Y'all niggas tripping. Snow out here, too. Keep up. Oh, you yeah, got me fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, out. Hey, you said I was better than, than, I, than you yeah, were at first. You way better than me. I can't come around that corner like this. <laughs> Kill got the right sneakers on. Cool. Snow. Uh, You're a good easy. girl. Bro, I love this dog. Is this the first time the dog's been around the world? Yeah, both oh, times. First time, time what's this dog? She thinks it's a big dog. <laughs> Why is you scan her? She's 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 definitely she's she's eyeball. She's, you know she's doing that the look. Leave that horse alone. Bro, she gonna kick the fuck out of you. I think she's just genuinely curious. And if nah, she's so in heat, why you walking her not walking me? <laughs> I never saw that rolled up. I mean, imagine if you've never seen a horse before, and then you saw a horse for the first time in your entire life. You'd probably be like, "What the fuck is that?" Stop. You got a bunch more dogs in Houston. Yeah. I have uh, a cat too, a name Neon. What kind of cat? An actual cat? Yeah. A black cat. Oh shit. She likes to come out here. Huh? Do you ever see yourself, when you're able to, leave in Utah? Like, will, will this always be home for you? This will always be my home. I see why, man. It's beautiful. I love New York too. You like New York? It's definitely different from out here. Completely oh. opposite. Hey, the horse is looking right at this dog. Like I don't, I don't know what's going on. But yo, your, your phone again. I, I'll get. You want me to get it? I'll grab it for you. That dog crazy. Yeah, that's our day. So this is always home. Yeah. Is there um, any inspiration? As to why Utah. I have family out here. Okay. Um, I have a woman that Christian me and brought me out here when I was younger. Oh, okay. So it was always like my dream to move here. I grew up in a city in Arizona called Mesa, which is kind of like a Mormon town, kind of like SLC. I saw you kind of talked about the Latter-day Saint faith. Is that something you're still like following or practicing or interested in? I told you I'm Puerto Rock here. So that's something you're still kind of like a part of, or? I never, I was just studying, you learning. You were studying it, yeah. So you learned about like Joseph Smith and a lot of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Bring me, um, bring me Mac. Bring me the Frenchie. Shout out to Mac. Oh, Look, that's, a, that's a nice He's dog. He's gotta be what, like five months old? Four yeah, months living. old? I don't know, he was a gift. Oh, someone, who, give, who gives you a, a dog like that? living out here, man. Yeah. Um, it was actually a guy my, my uh, dad met. From all the stupid stuff. That's dope. Shout out to your pops. Is he, uh, he's still incarcerated? Is he out? That's my biological oh, okay, yeah. okay. Montana got that dog for me. Oh, fire. It's got to be cool to have your kids up here. Yeah. This is like, a, I feel like this would be such an awesome place to grow up. Like as a kid, you could go out and play in the snow. I'm sure when it's not snowing, it's beautiful as well. There's so much to do. So it's, you would never get bored. There's always an activity to do. And it's also like, you know, if you're a, a kid, you're so used to like not having a place to go outside and play. You're always on the iPad here. It's like, she got the lake to go to. She so much to do. Yeah, Park you got, City. You got, yeah, you got the, the snow sleds and all that. Yeah. You go to Park City a lot? Nah, I've been inside going on three three years. The kids go right. without you? Yeah, they go a lot of places. How long 
do you have any end of date when it comes to you know you being able to leave and move around a little freely? No. Damn. I get to go to the uh, cemetery in the lake sometime. Oh, that's good. I mean, you've made the best of it, man. I was gonna ask you, man, like, you, you're still putting out music at such a high, high rate. Uh, I love the run record you just dropped. That shit is hard. Man, I, man, I, man, I'm, man, I'm, I'm a fucking animal right now, boy. They play <laughs> with my name like I, like I ain't that thing. Say so I've been rapping my ass off, and uh, Jason, you won't tell them about it. <laughs> But no, man, like, so listen, like, obviously, dude, home. like, you're you're stuck here, right? So, mm -hmm. I can only imagine, like, does writer's block happen? Does a lack of inspiration happen sometimes? Or is this just, you're just always question. dialed in? Behind, 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 behind this music shit, I turn to a lunatic. I create a story to talk about. I like that. Yeah. Uh, there ain't never no dull moment. I like that, man. Sometimes you got to create I'm your own uh, inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Because you record yourself as well. What is your vocal chain for like the geeks out there? Is it what? What's your compressor? Your pre? Your mic? What is like? What's what's the, the vocal chain? Oh uh, no, he just he bless, knows. He blessed me with the template, and I just go. You just go in and record yourself. Yeah. It's so important, man. Obviously, recently you said people have been testing your name. When something like that happens, let's say like the Joe Budden situation, does that put even more of a battery in your back? To just shut motherfuckers up. That I really feel like that was just a, that's just entertainment. It's a plot twist. Right. Like after that, we supposed to do an interview. Okay. I don't take that serious. It was just, it was, just, it was at a certain point in time, you kind of understand you're entertaining the fans, you're entertaining the narrative without it taking it to a place. I think he's some, I think he's somebody who studied the game. He studied, he studied the music industry. Right. I think it was just to get me talking. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, I feel like you've been so successful despite kind of being as anti quote unquote industry as possible. And I mean that in a, in a positive way. Because I feel like most artists, they do their best to try to play the game. They do their best to try to show up and show face. Go to events, hang out in LA, go to Grammy parties. None of that shit has ever mattered to you. You've always been very authentic uh, when it comes to just the relationships you have with the artists, the features you do. I tried playing the game before, but that shit don't work for nobody like me, I guess. Then another thing, I don't want to get caught up in all that. Now the industry shit, it, it will consume you, man. I've seen it happen with a lot of people. Yeah, and even like with the fans, like, man, you got to learn. You you just entertainment. You're a bad, you're, you're a movie. It's either a good one or a bad one. That's, and you're gonna get called out. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and that's, I think, most people need to understand that that's what this is. Yeah, like, man, you just entertainment. You gotta know when the joke's on you. Yeah. It's crazy, because at a certain point in time, I started noticing young kids having birthday parties themed after you. That's gotta be as crazy as, like, seeing a grown-up with, with your face tatted on man, him. Because there's I, a lot I of those. I've seen a kid grown up themed after me. Mm. I think I saw that. And, that, that fucked me up, man. Wow. How'd that make you feel? I never knew it was that serious. That's crazy. The Vaughn Eric brothers, who were the biggest rock stars in wrestling yeah. to ever come out of. It's that serious, man. Your fans are, are uh, I would say, probably the most committed Definitely. bunch. But I think that as I, I appreciated the fact that you're starting to kind of be self aware, be like, you know what, like, there are. It's that serious at, for a at, lot of kids. At this point, it's really strictly entertaining. Yep. Like, it's hard being a person that you want to be dealing with these people mm -hmm. or that yeah. you're trying to be. Right. Especially like when you already like came in a certain way. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you feel like because of the way you came in, there's like, what's the m biggest misunderstanding would you say people have about you? Because people have, th th there's a stigma about you um, that at times can be, you know, positive and or negative. But what, what, what's, how are you misunderstood, man? Because people don't really get to know you. You don't do a lot of interviews, so. I went to, um, I went to rehab for a weekend recently. Okay. I still get an image that like, I do a lot of drugs. And <laughs> so I kind of get that thrown in my face, like, oh, he, this taking over his mind or something, but at the same time, you don't know that. How that recent? How recent did you have to go? Um, Jason, well, two weekends ago. 
I think two weekends ago. Getting his mind right. And now I'm kind of taking on this therapy from now on. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. Was it, uh, cause you know, um, I've been doing a lot of rich sipping and smoking these nasty ass cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes will get you through some addiction. I mean, it's another addiction, but it's obviously one that is a little bit uh, less less harmful. Yeah, they've been tearing my ass up though, man. I want to stop smoking them so bad. Yeah. How's married life been treating you, man? It's great. I'm mar I just got married uh, in 2018, so it's all, I feel like it's just, there's a certain peace at night when you lay next to your wife, you know? Yeah, yeah once. When I, when it was first kind of starting out, my 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 vision was blurred, like just blemished. It's hard for me to trust. For sure. Me too. But We've all been through situations that taint our next relationship, and it takes a while to get through those. Definitely. What I think what what made me come to my senses, I pay attention to who not here. Mm. You know, and she put up she she put up with a lot. She accept me for who you are. Hey, yeah. what's up? I think she looks like she's ready to ride a horse, man. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, act, Ben actually just found a pony. Oh. So I'm going to purchase a pony. So you're going to have a pony and a horse? Yeah. You're going to have a zoo up here eventually, man. Man, I want to, uh, Let's bring that much alligator man. habitat. That is very bad and rude of you. I wonder how many acres that is. To the farm you go. I remember Diddy was at Brooke Ross house Never he wear running. He's like, you got 300 more acres to go. <laughs> yeah. I just took a piss at Grape Digger Mountain. My guy's got the old school school in the barn? That's what my car got. I got hydraulics on it. That's that L.A. Man. shit. That West Coast shit. shit. That's how you put it in. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them we step like Bigfoot. Step like Bigfoot. Step. So Kev. Yo. Me and you. Think yeah. you want to make a song? I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, when you say me and you make a song, you want me on the song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go make a song. Me and bootleg kill, man. Me and bootleg Come kill. on, man. We're going to pop that shit for him. We're going to go platinum. <laughs> Today, we're going platinum. Gold for sure. Gold for sure. OK, gold, gold for, for sure. sure. <laughs> That's mandatory. That's too easy for me. He said gold for sure. Laying a fucking maybe four bars. Well, four bars, you know? He's nervous. If it's ghost written. If it's ghost written. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. If it's ghost written. We did not make a rap song. That didn't end up happening. Not to say that it won't happen one day, because I did just get the invite back. But what we did do was we sat on the couch, we hung out, and we shot the shit for about an hour and I'm excited for everybody to see that conversation and uh, we're gonna release that conversation next week oh yeah we're definitely coming thanks back. for watching this vlog though shout out to NBA young boy man love that guy <laughs> just trying not to freeze to death so I know it's cold out there it's Trey TV let's get it Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. You can find us on Facebook. And when you do, make sure you follow the page. You like the page, you share the page, and come back. I'm going to get right into this. We got Bootleg Cav pulled up on NBA Young Boy. Grave Digger Mountain. Grave Digger Mountain. <laughs> Let's get it. This was definitely very interesting. It seems like the more uh, we watch and listen on how he just living at this point evolving like you know what i'm saying and evolving yeah he's a very interesting person and i always kind of wondered myself like why is he riding horses when you hear when you hear like oh because my grandpa used to ride horses you start to peel off these different layers of him he's definitely a very family oriented person as yeah. well you know what i'm saying yeah, he's definitely. very concerned about the kids that's good stuff to hear i thought he really hit on some good points with this interview and it was definitely interesting and not boring 
Um, what do you think about this? I think it was a great interview, definitely from a different perspective than the interviews that we seen earlier. Uh, we never seen an interview when I'm um, on the horse. Um, I thought that was dope to see the uh, how it actually looked with the mountains and all the snow. I think it actually that looked was crazy. I think that was a good look, and anybody want to be out there just chilling, trying to get your mind right. And it sounded like he definitely doing that, getting his mind right, getting off of drugs. It seemed like he's getting to what's uh, really important, um, which is his family, and it just show you just the growth. And um, and I think that's dope uh, for him, and I think that's dope for his fans to see that it's not always about this and that. Sometimes it's about just doing what you got to do uh, to make sure uh, your kids is good. And it's dope that he's doing that. Can't wait to do the second interview. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV, and I'm out.